Hey everyone, how's it going? Tarun here. So in this video, we're going to talk about get elements by class name. Again, just focusing on it right now, get elements. Okay, it is it comes with that S. It is not get element. Okay, by the way, get element by ID. It has element and get elements by class name has elements and you'll know why I'm, ta I'm talking like that. So when we look at the code, okay, when are IDs used and when are classes used? By the way, if you didn't know this, okay, IDs are used for unique elements. So every HTML page should have only one unique ID, but it can have several classes which are of the same name. So if you see here, we have new note title input. You will never find new node title input in this HTML page. But if you see the class, we have class input text. The same class is being used as class input text. And this is the exact reason why we have get elements by class name. So when we use document.getElements by class name, it selects all those elements which has the same class name and returns to us in the form of HTML collection. So let's look at that. Let's go to our Chrome browser. Okay, and that was input text, right? So let's let's remove that part of code, this code here. We do not want that. Let's go here, remove this, okay? And now let's do let, okay? Uh, let i equals to document dot get elements by class name all right and we're gonna grab the input text uh, was it input text okay it was input and text continuously so let's copy this paste it here and it is input text and when we print i we have a html collection okay it is html collection of length 2 okay it has two elements and within that it has the first element which is of the id new note title input and then the second element which has new note body input okay so this is how it is it's a html collection html collection is again like arrays only it is a collection of elements or like a list it's a collection of elements you can now grab the first element by mentioning i of zero all right when i hit enter it is going to give me this first element which is the the title the ti the place where we enter the title here okay that is the element it returns us again you can do i of one to get the second element okay that is how you deal with um, the html collections so what if we had many html collections and you wanted to run them within a loop you can again do that so you do that by using a for loop for let uh, let um, x equal to zero x less than i dot length okay which tells how many uh, elements are there in that and x plus plus all right and within this loop we're gonna say x of okay what shall we change let's change the uh, okay x of no no it's gonna be i of x Okay, because it is the i of whatever the index 0 or 1 until the length dot style dot border okay border equals to let us set it to 3 pixel solid red okay and close it come down close the for loop and hit enter to see that the border of these two have been changed. To explain you, if you didn't know what for loop is, it executes this. It executes this many times, and that many is decided by this factor here. 
x less than length and x plus plus so from 0 till length of this thing okay and at each iteration increment it by 1 it is going to do i of 0 dot style dot border and it's going to apply this style and i of 1 dot style dot border and it's going to apply this this thing so this is how you use uh, get elements by class name okay and you can of course apply the text content inner text inner html so on for this also all right so hope you understood what is get element by id get elements by class name okay so if you have any doubts in this please let me know i'm really happy to solve your doubts otherwise let's move on to get elements by tag name and so on see you there